I want to talk to you guys about stopping rust. We're not talking about products that prevent rust. We're talking about products that take existing rust and stops it. And that's what these five products on my counter have in common. All five products work in different ways and we need to talk about how each one of these work so you know what application to use them in. Towards the middle of this video, we are going to apply some of this on some already existing rust so you can see how they work. We'll come back in a future video and see how things are holding up. Over the course of many years, I've tried many different products and these are the products that I go to all the time. These are my favorites of everything that I've ever used. If you know of better products, comment down below. I'd like to see what you guys are using because I like to learn as well. I will put a link down below to where I got all of these products in case you're interested. But let's go ahead and start talking about them so you can learn what each one does and how they work and how they differ. The first product I wanna talk about is a rust encapsulator. Many manufacturers make this type of product. This is made by Eastwood. It is their platinum encapsulator, and I think it works extremely well. It's my go-to product when I want to use an encapsulator. I actually think it works a little better than POR15. Don't get me wrong, POR15 is great, but I think this works a little bit better. The secret behind a really good encapsulator is moisture curing. What that means is moisture causes it to cure. So when you paint over rust, if there's any moisture inside, it'll kind of soak up that moisture and use it to cure, then seal itself from the atmosphere. In theory, if you have rust and it never gets wet again, well, it doesn't rust anymore. And that's where these guys come in handy. Now, after this product cures, it dries into a very hard substance. It is sandable, so you could sand it down if you needed to do a little more detail work and maybe paint over the top of it. But using it as a top coat is just fine. Once you paint over that rust, it kind of locks it in and it stops it from rusting out even more. OSFO is a rust converter, and without getting into the science, it basically means it's going to take any existing rust and convert it into a material that, well, it doesn't rust anymore. It converts the rust into a hard black substance of which you can paint over the top of. The disadvantage of OSFO is you do need to top coat it. You need to paint it after you're done. If you don't, it will just rust again. This is Coraseal. It's basically a rust converter with a primer built into it. After you prep the surface of your rusty metal and remove anything loose that you can and you paint it with this guy, it'll turn jet black. Now, a lot of people say you don't need to top coat after you use Coraseal. I personally feel you do. This is New Hampshire undercoating. It's an oil-based undercoating. Basically, it seeps and creeps into areas that you normally can't get into. And if you have existing rust that's really bad, this is what you want. It'll really soak into those rusty areas and it will prevent rust. It's kind of like a bar chain oil. It's a little sticky and tacky, and this stuff is dyed jet black. So after you paint it onto your frame, it looks like you painted it black. Now, obviously you can't use a product like this everywhere. If it's something you need to handle or touch, well, you definitely don't want to paint it with an oil-like substance. But on a frame of a vehicle, it's perfect. This is fluid film. It's basically lanolin based. And if you don't know what that is, it's kind of a waxy substance. I find the best time to use this is actually before things get too rusty. I don't think it creeps as well as the New Hampshire oil. I pretty much use this on things that are just starting to rust. I like to use it inside B pillars or maybe even inside rocker panels, but pretty much once the rust gets too bad, you really need to use an oil base. But this stuff's great, specifically if you have something new that you wanna stop rust on or a new vehicle, get this inside the rocker panels and get it inside the B pillars, they'll never rust again. And get it inside those doors and you know at the very bottom where you have those pinch welds, if you can spray the top of those pinch welds with this, well, you'll never have another problem. I have areas on my truck that's been sprayed with this from years ago and you can still take your fingernail and kind of peel it out of there. It just feels like a wax. It works really well. So these are my go-to products when I have something that's already rusted and I need to address it and I can't remove the rust. If you're using something that you like that's even better, please comment down below because I would love to hear about it. What I want to do now is actually apply some of this to a piece of metal. Then we'll come back in a future video and see how well it holds up. Our little experiment here is going to be pretty straightforward. We have this two inch rusted piece of stock bar prepped. I took a wire hand brush to it and cleaned off all the loose rust. I have it sectioned off into six different spots. And the first spot we're gonna leave as is, that is our control group. The rest of the spots we're gonna apply our product to. Now the OSFO and the Coraseal both require a top coat, at least with my experience. So after the OSFO and the Coraseal cure over 24 hours, we're going to top coat exactly half of it with just a simple can of Rust-Oleum paint. We're going to revisit this after winter and we're going to see how well it looks. I'm just going to lay it in the yard as you see it. And anything that is not protected will surely rust out even more. This is the Eastwood Platinum Encapsulator. And you can see it's very slimy, 
but it coats very well. And typically one coat is all you need. Osfo, it's very runny like water. Coraceal, it's white like milk. It's a little thicker than milk. New Hampshire oil, normally you spray this on, but we are going to brush it on. There is nothing in the rules that says you can't brush it on. I just find it easier to spray it on. And fluid film. Fluid film you also spray on, but we put a little in a cup and we're going to brush it on. Again, there is nothing in the rules that says you can't brush it on, but I typically spray it on. It's been 24 hours and everything appears to be dry. And now what we're going to do is take some paint. I'm purposely using white because I think it's going to show any rust that might happen underneath it a little bit easier than a darker color. And we're going to paint exactly half of the Osfo patch and we're going to paint exactly half of the Coraceal. What that's going to do is over the course of time, we're going to be able to see if actually top coating it helps or if it hinders the product. What I want to do now is take it outside and let it sit through winter. I am going to try to place this somewhere near the road so that it does pick up a little bit of salt or road spray, which should help it corrode a little bit quicker. Then we'll bring it back in, we'll do another video, and we'll see how these products held up through the winter. I do want to point out something interesting that I noticed when I took off the tape in between each patch. If you take a look at the area that we placed the Osfo, you can see it creeped quite a bit underneath the tape on each side. That's really good because you want something that creeps so it can work itself under pieces of rust. The New Hampshire oil creeped a little bit underneath the tape, but if you flip it over and take a look back here, it really creeped down the bottom. New Hampshire oil is actually really good if you need to undercoat a vehicle because it just works itself in all those little nooks and crannies that you normally can't get to. The fluid film did a little bit of creeping under the tape. It did creep down the sides a little bit and some of it creeped to the back, but nothing like the New Hampshire oil did over here. The New Hampshire oil, well, it has stayed oily and that's what it does. It's kind of a tacky oil and it just lays on there. The fluid film, well, it'll dry a little bit. It'll always stay a little bit tacky, but it gets more waxy as time goes on. Right now, it's still pretty wet. We are coming back into springtime with a video to take a look and see how these products fared out. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. At the very least, you might be entertained.